All right, the next deck that we're trying today. So Swain, one of probably my favorite champion in this game. We've built a number of Swain decks and played them on stream uh, over the last several months. Today we're trying to pair him with the new Shurima cards and mainly I was inspired by this card here, Spirit Fire, because I think this is a very, very good deck, a very, very good card in a Swain deck potentially. So Spirit Fire gives our enemies negative two. Uh, so burst speed seven mana spell, giving our enemies negative two and deal two to me until the end of the round. A round end deal two to me until the end of the round. So this helps us uh, stay alive uh, and uh, against decks looking to go wide and also works uh, obviously controls the board because we, we're dealing damage to the units but that's this can potentially work uh, work greatly towards leveling up your Swain with the amount of damage that just this one card can do and after we've leveled Swain it's actually pretty good because it can allow us to punch through uh, and connect with Swain to get his Nexus strike effect because of the fact that it reduces the enemy attack and potentially making him unblockable with the fearsomes with the with his fearsome keyword and if you can do that you know say you have a leveled swain you open your turn with the attack token with spirit fire attack with swain hit them now all their units on board will be by the end of the turn taking five damage which most likely will clear their board um, if you're getting through with the you know the spirit fire negative two in the first place so these these two cards felt like they work uh they work well together they play nice together it seems sweet and so, and I've been enjoying a bunch of the other various um, Shurima cards. So, decided to build this uh, this deck and see what else you know. See how how good this feels along with the other tools that we got in Shurima. So, going through them now, we got Dune Keeper. Uh, let's us uh, go wide with blockers against more aggressive decks, and on occasion, the Sand Soldier you know can connect to deal one damage to the enemy Nexus, which you know. Deals damage, lets us get aggressive in certain matchups, slightly works towards leveling Swain, but if we don't, if we're not interested in any of that, then we can use it, uh, we can sacrifice it to Rite of Calling to draw our Swain. Note that we're, we're a Swain only deck, he's the only champion we're running, or we can throw the Sand Soldiers away with Noxian Fervors in the mid game. Noxian Fervor is really nice because not only does it, uh, if it, if it resolves, it gives uh, Swain 6 of his 12 um, damage that he needs for leveling up. It also gives 2 out of the 4 slays for the Rampaging Bakai. So this takes us halfway towards leveling Swain, halfway to activating Rampaging Bakai. So another just great mid-range unit uh, to help control the board. Put a threat, put out a threat, and because it is striking a unit, it's actually helping towards level Swain as well. Bakai Sandspin are in here for the same reason as well as Rock Hopper, just ways to help control the board. Same with Death's Hand, Noxian Fervor, standards, you know, Swain, mid-range control cards. House Spider is just a staple in, in pretty much all Noxus decks, especially ones like this. We're looking to control the board. Like I said, we have Rock Hopper. We also have Legion Greeting Deers here, just solid, like, two mana, three power units that let us get aggressive when we need to in certain matches, but also block fearsome units. And in the case of Legion Grenadier, the one extra point of toughness I think can be relevant, which is why I have this 3-2 split like this. And dealing one damage to the enemy Nexus is nice as well for Swain. Exhaust, much like um, Spirit Fire, can help us control the board in the early game, but it can also let us push through damage with Swain in the late game if we need to. Uh, maybe w when combined with Spirit Fire to, to, you know, reduce the attack power of something that's a little bit bigger. And rounding out the list, we have a couple of Siphoning Strike in here. So Siphoning Strike, although we're not uh, hitting with any, like, particularly large unit in this uh, in this deck, if we can connect with it, A, it works towards leveling Swain yet again, and killing a unit and granting Swains in our deck plus two plus two is really nice. Um, I think this will probably be the weakest Link in the deck, if I had to guess, and I have in mind another card or two that I'd replace with it if this underperforms. Um, but we're going to start with this today because this is the sweeter, more fun card, so I want to start with this and see how it does first. And we'll go ahead and jump into ranks with this. I think it's my... I kind of want to see how this deck performs against what people are throwing up on the ladder. This is like a first draft of this archetype, so I don't expect it to do too, too well, but we'll give it a shot nonetheless. See how we do. Can't, can't be any worse than that uh, Kahiri uh, meme deck, right? We can only go up from here. 
That's what that's what I'm gonna. Th that's what I'm thinking. Fervor. They're, I don't know if they're. Yeah, fervor might be fine here. Based on the regions that they are presenting, like they might not have too many ways to interact with something if we want to fervor it. I have my orders. And then, um, like, I, I don't know if that they can kill our target in response necessarily. So, this is of course unfortunate. We're running. We have some one drops in our deck, but only three. It's kind of one. Of, this is one of the reasons why I like having one drops uh, in my control decks, because cards like this, just like every time, like it, it, without fail, I always face the player playing Legion Saboteur on one when I don't have a one drop. It's pretty much every time. When I have the one drop, they don't, they don't, they don't find this, and instead they're playing Fearsomes that get through my one drop. Sun's beneath me. I'm and when I don't have the one drop, they have the Legion Saboteur on one every time to get four, to, to get four, basically they do four damage for one mana and trade with something of mine. Incredibly great value card. Incredibly, incredibly high value card in aggro decks. Coming in up. Too slow, stupid. Too slow, stupid. Do I just like hook that? Call it a day. Watch me. Is there any reason not to? I don't know. It might be. If they open attack with this, I guess. Oh, like we have Death Sand. On. They want to develop the board more, however. Uh, it's not great. We can't do this and this next turn, so... Yikes, not the greatest draws so far. Back-to-back -back five drops, not a good look. I guess we'll do this post-com, pre-combat, so they don't get the trigger. They're gonna get the 1-1 regardless, because here's a big boy. Would love to see a sand spinner off the top of our deck. Because that is that gives us a four mana uh, way to develop our board plus take out Azir. No such luck. I guess we'll pass. I, I might take we have this spirit fire rolled up for next turn, so maybe if they have a bunch of low quality cards that die to it, we could be okay, he says as our opponent immediately passes their turn. Yeah. Uh, I guess I could play this as a blocker, huh? It, it eats all the damage that this would deal. This cursed life is now my burnings. Feels this sad to just play calls. this out as a 4-6, but I don't think we have a choice. Don't think we have a choice. And now the question is, do I take three more damage to deal three to something and perhaps set up more damage on a following turn? Because I could do this. Actually, I guess I just do this because I drew our one of Ravenous Flock. We need to do this now, though. I don't think so. We should block. Yeah, our deck full of like one and two mana blockers is not drawing any of them, unfortunately. Oh, here we go. Right on time, House Spider. Glad you could join the party. Three out of four with this. We actually do have enough mana to Death's Hand, Ravenous Flock this, and then play this to kill one of their things. I guess we'll start with that. I think that's where we... Unfortunately, I think that's where we gotta go. They're, they're gonna drop a Darius now and just level up. Or play something that this isn't doesn't affect. Yeah. Alright. Slow start for us against the aggro deck. Let's just move on to the next game, see how we can do. I feel like if this deck is bad against the current crop of aggro decks in the format, that game's not a good example of why. Because again, we just didn't draw any of our early game that helps us uh, stay alive. Or not enough of it, anyway. They are a deep deck. So we kind of want to see our early game again because they're, they're probably the go. They're probably going bigger than us. They have interactions. So I don't think I want this. We're looking for Death Sand to deal with their Twisted Fate. Exhaust also fine. So we're gonna be looking to get aggressive here, somewhat. P apply pressure. I, I've I've always found that the best way to beat the deep decks is just apply pressure early, and force them to. Uh, use their mana in awkward ways instead of on things that they actually want to play. Tea, 
Do I want to trade a point of... Like, what's better? Do I let them block the 2-2 and then potentially it died a Vile Feast? I think I want to keep the 2-2 around. Vile Feast is one of the ways they can kind of like blow us out if we try to use a, a Noxian Fervor on one of our weaker units. So I don't think I want to give them the opportunity to do that quite yet. I guess they don't have anything else to do with their mana this turn. They're just... Yep, spending their spell mana. That's kind of good for us. It's unfortunate we don't have another... It's unfortunate we can't develop the board further with that in mind. Again, just like... We have, what, 8, 9, 10, 11, 1 and 2 drops in our deck, and we're not quite seeing enough of them. See, now I want to play that before opening attacks, but then they're going to play something that makes... Me wish I'd held up mana for the Bakai Sand Spinner, but I'm not going to play that out naked onto this board, I don't think. I suppose I could pass, but like they want us to pass, right? They want this game to go along. Two damage is not a ton, though. I suppose I can play this out and then look to Noxian Fervor it or exhaust something on the other side of the table. Maybe playing this out is just fine as an attacker. Yeah. The soul wears away. Maybe trying to squeeze value off of this is uh, is me misassessing my role a bit here. Like I, I already said, I need to go fast. So five three put, puts out a lot of pressure. Yeah, they're probably pretty close to deep already, huh? Yeah. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and exhaust that just to push damage. Five damage is a good chunk. Uh, and it gets rid of a blocker without attacking damage onto our thing. Okay, so they're deep starting their next turn. Oh, sorry, I didn't, didn't do the math right. Two out of four. So this can get us to the four out of four we need for this guy. We can't play him out this same turn, unfortunately. Let's see what they have. The fact that they hit deep this early means if they have like running sea monsters here, that could be very, very bad for us. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and kill that. That's not a big sea monster. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I'm going to play this out. Hope they don't have a second one of those. And just get this out of the way. Do I attack with this? I think so because they're likely going to get the trigger from this no matter what. And just getting rid of a blocker and keeping this as a healthy attacker I think has value. It also means I get to spend my mana this turn. Maybe this is wrong because I think they're going into a ruination turn here. chance we don't have any more swains left in our deck for this, huh? That's kind of awkward. 
Okay, well, we'll see if we can't go wide around what they're doing. And then maybe this Leviathan can push push the last bit of damage we need. Strange play from our opponent. That, mean, that means I can actually develop my board further. And, uh, ooh, okay. No, we probably need to Leviathan this turn. I mean, we don't have a choice. We have to, we have to full attack here. You defile the grove. This might actually be a fine play, though. Kills everything he has, keeps my stuff alive. We dead? I guess I guess we possibly could be. Deploy. Guy. Go ahead and do that. Get rid of a blocker. Now I pack a punch. Evolve me. He why wouldn't he use that here? The blessed isles live through me. Disgusting. They will pay for what they do. All that matters now is the little ones. Blessed <laughs> vengeance. Come on, let's go. <laughs> this is an interesting attack. Uh, they're dealing 10, so atrocity doesn't kill me through. Know your place. Actually, yeah, these were some bad attacks by our opponent, actually. Life. Like, even not knowing we have the- even if they- It's not because they- they- It's not a bad attack because they had- they didn't know that we had the, uh... That- I'm talking about, like, there was no reason to throw the 2-1 away into my 4-1. So what do we think here? Am I supposed to ship it with everything? 
Because they block here, these connect. This is a potential of five. I think I'm supposed to throw it all away. If they have interaction for one thing, they have interaction for everything, so. The three, three damage from this probably doesn't win us the game. So our opponent messed up by not using their single combat on my Leviathan. They also messed up further by attacking, making some questionable attacks into my stuff. Good day, work. Sorry, I'm only seeing your message now. It was a pretty close game. Intense game. I want to make sure we were playing optimally. Which is usually not the case, despite my best efforts. But I try. Riven Devon. Uh, they're probably attacking into us a lot of the time, so the one of this one Ravenous Flock's probably okay. Bakai Sand Spinner might be a bit slow though. Uh, we're attacking on evens though, so maybe I do keep it. Could be okay. I don't know. Could go either way on that. Like we really want to hit like our early stuff, but two drop. No two drop. I don't know how many more early plays I can put in this deck. Death's hand, that's not awful. It checks this at least. It gives us something to do with our mana. They play something bigger like a Riven. Now nah, just I'll just hook Riven with the Bakai Sand Spinner the following turn, I think. Depending on how interactive our opponent is, Siphoning Strike could end up being good this match. We'll see. Okay, opponent, after some careful deliberation, has decided to open on attacks with the 2 1 Fearsome. And never mind, I spoke too soon. Should have kept my big mouth shut. We'd love for them to open on attacks with just the spider, to be honest, because we don't have anything else to do with our I need just mana. Oh, I see. So we're going to do this pre-combat, because if they have a way to pump this up and save it, we want to be able to ravenous block it in combat. That is a yeah okay. Look what good comes of mortal greed. Pretty sure I just want to spend my mana here. It sucks because now they can play like a Siobhan or whatever. But I'm actually just gonna attack and offer the trade on the Shivana, I think. Nah, it's okay. Ah, but then again, if I do this and they have a sharp sight, hmm. I mean, they could just block anyway if they have a sharp sight. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. Well, they don't have a good open attacks because... Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. That's fine. I think I start with Dunekeeper, go wide. Might actually write this. They might just attack with this just to kill the five two and then call it a uh, Got your back. call it a day. Huh. That is kind of annoying. What do we think? We think they have single combat. Probably a single combat deck, huh? 
With the Shivana, almost certainly. Kinda wanna spend my mana, but I have a feeling I'm gonna get blown out by like a single combat or something. Eh, let's just go for it. Well, that makes this Swain a lot more of an interesting play. Okay. This is dying anyway, so let's just draw a card. I think I want to get blown out by a single combat, so... I mean, they didn't have it last time, so I guess I can be greedy and, like, try to try to Noxian Fervor here. But then Swain can't block the Riven. But if I... but if they single combat, they're gonna keep both. I could just do it here, which actually levels up the Swain... Uh... And if he wants to attack, we can trade. I have a backup Swain in hand. Am I supposed to make the greedy play or the safe play? With the, with another Swain in hand, I think I'm supposed to make the safe play. I guess if they have single combat, they just single combat like this, though. Sacrifices must be made. Victory awaits. And I guess I don't have to block with the Swain here. I just block here and then finish it off with this other Ravenous Flock, keeping this backup Swain in hand, just in case. Okay, well, if they... If they found a quick attack one, we can't do that. They have, uh... Two blade fragments in hand, now three, or just or just the one. How many times are they reforged? I think it's just the one. No, they had all of them. There is surrender and there is life. I will live. Violence to end violence. Well, they're not going for the, uh, the thing. Um, I don't think there's a reason to sacrifice my thing right now to save a point of damage. I don't think that's a worthwhile thing. Well, they keep not having interactions, so let's try this again. Oh, right. What I forgot was that they rallied. It's not at this. That's right. I've kind of like shortcut in my head that Riven creates a blade fragment at the beginning of every uh, at like round start kind of thing. I don't know. Yeah, right. They rallied. So that's where they got the third blade fragment. So their, their hand was actually kind of poopy. Another Swain Severe deck. I wonder if this is the same opponent we were playing earlier. They're all expensive. Probably want to keep the Death's Hand. We can play it on two if we fail to find another two job. Wow. Our draws have been spectacular today. Oh look, another two job. 
Yeah, we'll play this out then. We'll probably just take two to take one, so we can this can block two things over the course of several turns. And if they want, if he wants to just do this right off the bat, I'll just trade it. Done yet? Okay, I like that. Maybe Severe is a champion worth running in our deck. I was thinking what other champion we'd want to pair with Slain. Didn't feel like super great. Nothing else like really stood out. Maybe Severe's okay, because like we can kind of work towards leveling her while leveling Swain. And her level mode uh, is obviously really nice with Swain. The soul wears away like grains of sand. Business as usual. It also makes running a particular card more um, to ruin. satisfying. Let's hand that. He has another one. We'll death hand this. Save this for another severe or some other threat. Glory, courage, excuses for war. Yeah, like that. Observe the price of ambition. I don't think they have another Noxian Fervor in hand. Do we, do we want to spend the mana striking with this? If we do, we don't get the trigger. But if we wait until after we do our thing with this, we can get got by other things. I guess we have a Death's Hand to finish him off, so let's, let's do that then. And it's another way to spend our mana this turn, which I like. Think we're just gonna pass. Doesn't feel great, but uh, do we just spirit fire here? This might be the best time to use it. Though I kinda would like to play our Leviathan this turn. So I'll just block here and pass, play out our Leviathan. Prepare the cargo! Contest the Bacar! We have nothing to lose! It's unfortunate, especially because... So I'm assuming we're going to see a uh, Ravenous Flock, yeah, or that. So with that in mind, I guess we'll go... Do we want to go face? Do we actually want to kill... With, with Spirit Fire in hand, I feel like I don't want to go face. I want to just go face. Might be greedy, though. This thing can still deal damage to us even on a Spirit Fire turn, so. Just get rid of it. 
It also blocks our slain, which now we can actually play out a slain and see if our opponent has something to block. Loyalty through conquest. Lies. I'm gonna pass. Because they could be a spirit fire deck themselves. I don't want to um, give them a lot of targets. Don't want to give them a reason to spend their mana. We're not losing that much mana by not playing these out anyway. Death's hand is nice. The soul wears away like grains of sand. Cool. Uh, we're. Definitely, actually, we start by doing this. If they have a response, we get Death's Hand ping to stun this, which is nice. That's so unfortunate. Culling Strike with all the negative attack effects. I don't know why I didn't think of that. That's probably a card we're interested in running, eh? I wonder if it's better than Noxian Fervor in a lot of times. Maybe, like, we we just need two of these effects. Hmm. That's very sad. Uh, well, I guess since we're losing our Swain anyway, we can do this then. Patience is a definitely didn't. That card was definitely not on my radar. Some nice synergy for sure. Yikes. Savage. Alright then. Well, that went poorly. Um. Am I interested in trading some of these things off? I think so. Just keep our life total a little higher. We have uh, this Legion Grenade here to check this 5 3. Spirit Fire to clean up all this other stuff. Not a big deal. But if they have a Spirit Fire of their own, this is going to be. It's going to be rough. They're just passing here. I think I passed back. I think that's fine. So we need to find like one of our Leviathans or another Swain pretty soon. Or we're gonna be in a rough spot. Is this a spirit fire turn? Might be. Maybe the spirit fires are too cute and we'd rather have some. There's that slain we were talking about. Glory, courage, excuses for war. A conquest for empire! Maybe I should have started with this. They were likely to play something out and this could have let me get around it. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. buys me a new sail. Oh, this was also kind of a mistake. Oh, I guess not, because this kills this, this stuns this. That's pretty good. I still probably wanted to save the ability to play a Siphoning Strike, though. Leviathan of our own is very, very good.
Okay, well, that's... Unless they have a draw effect this turn, that doesn't... Sh I don't want to meet so they might. That might be why they're playing. Order, sir. Bring forth our army. Observe the price of ambition. Okay, so I'm guessing they have a um see what I've learned whatever it's called in hand. What a last card to have, too. We're going under! Man. Our opponent's deck has been... The top of our opponent's deck has been super, super hot. Okay. Let's start with this so this actually does something. Nice top decks, opponent. By my hand with Noxus Prime, Grand General. All right. Change of Makai is pretty nice. Definitely above average draw from our deck. Outside the third Leviathan, that's pretty much the best we could have hoped for. Siphoning strikes have been pretty bad this game, and but like I said, I'm pretty sure there should be something else. And uh, merely pawn to the greater game. Victory awaits. Such little lives. So. We're supposed to pass here, right, and force him to make a mistake. Because if he swings with everything, we can actually chump with the Legion Grenadier. Uh, and then Rampaging Bakai finishes this off. Witness strength. Try me. I will break him. This curse and life is now my penance. Backup Swain is pretty nice. Change of perish. Let's take a look at this and see if we'd actually want to make any, any of the changes now that we saw, saw what our opponent's up to. I don't have any copies of Severe and I don't think she's that great, so let's get rid of them. These siphoning strikes have been iffy so far. I think I'll just go ahead and say I think they probably should just be whispering whispered words. 
Because even if we're never activating the reputation uh, te line of text on it, four mana burst speed draw two is just solid. Like, what was it? Swain, Twisted Fate Swain was playing basically this card in uh, in previous. There, there were versions of that uh, that deck playing two to three copies of the uh, the draw two toss two four mana burst speed. So pretty sure this is fine in this deck, and it would have been really good that game. We would have generated a ton of card advantage. Obviously, you know, the siphoning strikes could have been great, but they had a lot of negations, which was the other card I would say when I when I was talking about at the beginning of the set that I think the siphoning strikes should be other cards. Whispered words and Right of Negation were the ones I was thinking of. Do we like Right of Callings in our Mono Swain deck? Uh, in theory, yes, but maybe he's just not coming down early enough for us to want to use it. Um, which makes me wonder if these Dune Keepers are that great. I think so. I think we want more ways of doing stuff like that. I think, I think if we're going to... Let's just try this slight variation. Let's just go up Whispered Words, up this card advantage, up the Rock Hopper, making stuff vulnerable to kill, having a fearsome blocker, something that's a three attack can also that can also apply pressure. These are all very appealing things. These three of Spirit Fires might be a bit much. So I could see cutting cutting one or one of those. Our opponent uh showed us that they were running things like culling strike with their like attack reducing effects which seemed kind of hot so maybe like i could see cutting maybe what one spirit fire maybe maybe we don't want these dune keepers and the culling strikes are just really good what else was our opponent running they were on they were running the two three predict is that and they were it, they were running the one mana landmark predict. I don't know if that I like that over the Dune Keepers. Like I just rather smoothing our draws is obviously nice. I'd rather just ensure that we have one mana play so we don't die to aggro. You know what I mean? Card advantage. Maybe we don't need three of these. Just trying to think. Like maybe we're interested in a couple copies of this because it, it synergizes well with what we're doing. I, I guess I could see the rock hoppers being the two man uh, or the the two three verdict, but I really like things that block fearsome units and then making something vulnerable is also kind of nice since we care about getting slays. Um, at the very least, we care about getting slay because even if our opponents put out things that we don't care that much about, still getting slays to ensure that our rampage of Akai can come down on curve and slay something. I think is is worthwhile. Really wanted to try see how Spirit Fires felt, but yeah, two is probably a one too many. I guess I could get rid of this one of Ravenous Flock. Am I going to be a little greedy? I guess I'll be a little greedy and go ahead and... Or, verdict. What is it called? Predict. I think this is okay, and then we can get rid of this one of... Maybe. Could see that, that card being okay, though. We don't need all of these twos. Kind of want like one ravenous flock in the deck at the very least. I could see there. I could see wanting two. Yeah, this might be okay. 
I'll try this to start. Legion, Legion Grenadier or Rock Hopper? Legion Grenadier or Rock Hopper? I think I, I want to try the Rock Hopper now. Um, if we ever got the Severs, would we want to put them in? I guess that's a, that's something I could think about for another day. She's a four drop though. Four is pretty expensive. She definitely could be fun to try. I'm just not sure what I'd get rid of. Maybe the spirit fires are just too cute. We're not drawing Swains that consistently. This this lets Swain push damage in other ways, kind of. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. It's not something I'd ever craft uh, for the deck, but if we, but if I eventually earn enough severes, I might. I could see if I get like two of them, I could see crafting the third and trying it out, but. Kinda like all of this. Maybe the Ravenous Flock's not good. Most of their stuff dies to trades anyway. I don't want the exhaust. start by passing and see what they do <laughs> these are probably trading anyway if he plays something that then becomes vulnerable Passing again, so kill without me spending some mana, so we'll go ahead and do this to start. Do not see what is, see what will be. Okay, so now we're gonna do this. And if he wants to attack with Azir, we can finish him off with Raven's Block by throwing the 3 1 at him. Destiny calls! I will run you over! Can't see him! In name. I might start my next turn by just passing and see what our opponent does. Because they're going to lose way more mana than I do. But if they want to play something big and scary, then I can Bakai and then finish it off. This turn is probably just a bunch of house fighters that we're playing. Yeah. Oh, if they were gonna- I should have played the Bakai Sand Spinner, that would have been more resource efficient. That was a mistake. The pass. We're favored as this, as this game goes long, so... Don't mind passing here. If our opponent doesn't want to spend the mana. Fine by me. Men die, but Sharima lives forever. 
Master your demons. I'll go with this. Shurima, see what I see. Carry it with you. Emperor, I am honored. Your Emperor come I have risen. And with you, Shurima. Oh, I guess they, he, I, I didn't realize what was happening quite. They probably have interaction. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I was supposed to just play the sand spinner. Yeah, okay, I made a mistake. I didn't really quite think about how their deck plays out with that Scythera. And that my blockers weren't going to be good enough. Okay, so I shouldn't have tried to be cute passing. I should have played, the at least should have played the Bakai Sand Spinner and tacked on some damage on Scythera. Then we would have been fine in that game. No chance we were just dead there, but that, that was a pretty big mistake by me. I would rather just move on. We'll try to remember that for the next game. Scythera, no bueno. Gotta get it off the table. Gotcha. Lesson learned. That's pretty much the main reason I like playing games like this. There's always something new to learn. Chalk up every game as like, that, that was a nice lesson. Just move on, learn from it, try a new game. I'm not really interested in playing out a game where I played poorly. The results of games don't really matter to me past whether or not we learn something. Last Romay buys me a new sale. Okay, sure. They probably just, if they drew a Lissandra, they probably just play her out. I'll just pass them. I don't want to play into a, uh... Watch me! Whatchamacallit. Ages pass, yet I remain. Hmm, yep, I'm going to go ahead and bank the spell man, I think. Loyalty through conquest. I became a soldier. Hmm. Should I care about that? For Noxus. Not really? No, not a whole lot. I go, I go. My board. Let's go ahead and spend our mana draw to. Swain's nowhere near leveling, which feels kind of bad, but... If it's made of sand, I can write it. But uh, we're not in an awful spot, all things considered. We could just exhaust uh, to, to move this out of the way, so I don't think I care. Sure, I'll go with the card advantage. I think we just keep developing our board here. I want to just like... 
cause as much damage as possible this next turn. I turn it like so. Ugh, that's unfortunate. So maybe I should, yeah, I shouldn't have played Whispered Words. I should have waited to see. I was thinking that was, that might have been a mistake. And it definitely was here, because I could have Sand Spinnered, Culling Strike this to, um, to get rid of that. So that was definitely a bit of a mistake on my part. Not too big a deal, but we'll see. Ugh, we're one away. So unfortunate. Yeah, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have... I don't know why I drew cards there. We're just like, probably gonna spend four of this mana. Should have thought about what his follow-up plays would be, so this is a mistake on my part. For sure. Well, I guess we can get a replacement one with that no we can't because there's two swains in my hands so i gotta wait wait john stop trying to play things ahead of ahead of time Let's pass because like even there's no way he's passing back here and even if he does that's good for us so just gotta be patient here and just pass see what they do it's probably not attacking with this but it's not a problem because it's vulnerable. After he kills the Swain with the Trundle, we're definitely going to try to Ravenous Flock it. God, man, I guess we can't... Indecision is the first... Bow to your king! We're going to play the one Swain and Ravenous Flock with the other. That's what we're going to do. Down. Yikes, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Let's get... Uh do we what do we prefer? He has that recall thing in hand, so I guess Master, we do this. So I don't want to get I don't want my eight mana play to get recalled. We're gonna start with this ravenous flock targeting this trundle. We're going to use the second one if that fails. Hopefully that's enough damage to kill him. And then we can start taking these out. Following turn. He's still got plenty of mana to make plays this turn though. Plenty of cards in hand, so... Feeling like we're a little, a little behind at the moment. The fact that we weren't able to connect with this Swain over several turns feels kind of bad. Just had stun effect after stun effect after stun effect. Plus that one recall effect. Opponents taking their sweet time, deciding what to do. Pick an ally, recall all other units. Okay. Start with this. If they troll chant it, we have a response. Oh, that still works, even if that target goes away. Okay, good to know. Um, what would we rather play? We're just gonna get aggressive. Would you look at this place? Oh, did I just lose my Swain because I had too many in the de Wow. That is unfortunate. Okay. Fear the power, do not see. 
I guess we know he has the concussive bomb, so maybe that's not the greatest. Wow, this opponent's deck is very annoying. Uh... Might not have wings. Uh, did they do that in the wrong order? They did. They could have made it so that we didn't get our swing back. So she's vulnerable. Um, I don't know that we want to play another rock hopper. Too bad we we're one mana short. What do we play? We can start here. I don't want the burn spell at this point. Indecision is the first of many weaknesses. This will take the chill off. Boo, healing is cheating. Didn't anyone ever tell you that, opponent? We have four out of twelve still. Really sucky. Um, pass, I think. So, what's he up to? Recall an ally to summon an exact ephemeral copy in its place. So, he wants that effect back. Am I supposed to try to kill it? He's still got the nine mana up. I don't think so. Hmm. Patience is a tactician's greatest tool. Do I lose the game anyway? Because it's free, right? So they're gonna get to play it, bounce these, have a bunch of attackers. Which kind of sucks. Hmm. Summon an exact ephemeral copy. This is why I was thinking I should have probably hooked her with the 2-2. I was thinking pushing damage might be better because we didn't see any healing out of our opponent thus far. Ugh. It's technically an exact copy, so I suppose it's just gonna die. Right? Like, does it even have... you? Not targeting nothing. Alright, but she doesn't have Vulnerable on her anymore. So do I play the Rock Hopper then? Thanks for giving me time You'll to think about it, game. Promise. Hmm... 
I don't know what to do here. <laughs> I really don't. Um... Sacrifices must be made. And then we play a bunch of walkers out. And, strike. and let's take this outside. Just in case this gets denied, I want to block here. I'll let this hit me. It's only three damage. It's not a big deal. Yeah. You deny my one mana spell. I'm fine with that. Spirit fire, huh? I want to start here. I don't they trade, which doesn't feel great, but... I think this is where we want to start. Swain's finally leveled, which is nice. They're just gonna end the rent. They're end gonna end the turn. Empire above all. Assuming they're just gonna recall this now. It feels like this is bait, but I, at the same time, I don't want to just keep not playing stuff. And don't you dare! <laughs> We are out of damage dealing spells, unfortunately, so they can play this and obliterate our deck. We can't stun it because we don't have things. Yeah. Kind of want to see the animation, though. But is there any way we can live? I don't think so. I don't have any way to stun that, right? How much attack it has? Plenty. Master your demons. Wow, what an annoying deck our opponent what plays. You very, very annoying. Um, I'll just pass. I just kind of want to see the obliterate animation because I've never seen it before. It's kind of cool. Oh man, not having any luck today. Feels like. This is what I get for not playing on the ladder. A lot with this deck before the stream, I guess. Stuff. This this probably actually doesn't hit very many things. You are a three drop. I would like to make your three drop not so great. So let's start. I'll play that out. 
think we gotta go with the sand spinner here, whatever actually. Woke you up. Oops, that was a bit hasty of me. I could have gotten two points. Carve a path. Sure. Um, I think I will play this out first. Though. Would you look at this place? I will run you over. Mm. Listen to me. Probably just, yep, another sand spinner, I think. He's nowhere near. Uh, his effect is nowhere near activating and might not be for a little while. So. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. I stand for not. Hear that, God. Well, that's an easy choice. Um, Push damage here a little bit, I guess. While we're at it. Cut him down. It's not safe. Who cannot? Observe. A nice sand spinner target. Fall to pieces. I'm not gonna attack with everything because they could be a G um whatchamacallit deck. Yielding spirit, huh? That's, that's a feel bad. So we can never beat that card, I guess. Guess we need to just stun it. Add infinitum. There's gonna be more attacks to block that are hit harder than this, so I think I just pass. Um, start here, see what we find. Second Leviathan. Probably not where we want to be. Spiritfire could be okay. Maybe we do want a second Leviathan though. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Hmm. Guess we'll see. This is still only at two out of four, huh? Not bad. Zero out of twelve. Yeah. Hmm. Don't worry, I won't say a word. At least our opponents are getting to do cool things this game, huh? gonna single combat one of these I assume I guess I should have done a, I should have exhausted first if in that case huh yeah Artillery ooh that's a noxian fervor hmm By 
try my hand with noxious rise. Run, General! Return fire! Uh, I'm supposed to block with the Swain. Okay, so they're gonna play a billion burn spells then? been playing the ladder all week and this is the first time I'm seeing 90% of these decks. When you don't know what you're playing around in a playing a control deck, that definitely feels good. Keep going though, because I think this is an interesting deck and I want I just want to play more cards. You've played seven plus created cards. So just doing this to get aggressive. So again, again, never seen this combination of champions before. Uh, Culling Strike probably pretty great. Oh, wait, these others? Like, this deck was built for, like, all those Burblefish aggressive decks. <laughs> With all those Burblefish aggressive decks in mind, and we just have n not been running into any such thing so far. Haven't seen a single one yet. Which feels pretty awful. Probably don't want to swing yet. Punch Strike's probably pretty good. Can you improve perfection? See what I've learned? Start here. Probably just gonna call this. Get it out of here. My I don't think I'm gonna block here. We can just take this hit. Humanity is obsolete. That's a pretty good one. Safety disengaged. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. What do you do? Ah. Sure. Watch me! Could probably have a way to stop this, but we'll see. Always calling strike. Yeah, I'm fine with banking spell mana here. I might throw this away to deal one.
So I'm guessing he has a victor in hand then? Kind of feels bad to pass and not get to spend mana if he decides to just end his turn here, but this implies that he's attacking, so. Listen to me. These aren't permanent buffs, are they? They are. Interesting. Did not know that. Um yeah, sure. Okay. Hmm. Do I want to play the Swain? I don't think so. A bit risky, I think. It can be undone. Summon random turrets whose total cost equals the mana spent. Okay. Now I think we'll play the Swain because I don't really want to eat anything with the Bakai. Loyalty through conquest. Gentlemen, you are a 5-4, though. Okay. It's gonna be rough. I guess this eats this. Still, we would, we'd be taking a lot of damage this turn. So probably supposed to block with the Swain. Every time. Oh wait, no, he just dies to this, right? This place.
Charima. You got caught. Um. Order, sir. Bring forth our army. for challenger or something no materials no improvements together we are part of something more together you are children of shurima ever rising approach arise Stand down. Remember the order is given. Move. Know your place. Probably play a couple more with this this deck. This arc, Swain decks are fun for me, and this archetype's interesting. Kind of want to get more more games with it. Get more familiar with the various matchups. What I should be keeping, how I should sequence my plays, etc. Because I feel like. There's a bunch of the losses we took today were because I didn't understand what our opponents were doing and probably just used my resources uh, suboptimally or just sequenced my plays incorrectly. Pulling strike plus this Bakai Sand Spinner kills the Trundle we'll like we screwed up that other game, so let's try to not screw it up this game. I guess we can go with this. If they play Lissandra, that kind of sucks, but meh, it's fine. I guess I, I can tack on a damage with this and then Noxine Forever finishes her off? No. 
No, it does. Yeah. It does. See what I've learned. If they pass. I'll pass back. If they hold up avalanche mana, I'm still gonna pass. Almost avalanche. Um, with that in mind, do I just like Noxian fervor their face a bunch? I, I'm just gonna do it because it seems fine. I have to spend more resources. They scared. They scared. It can be undone. This is their trundle turn, so we'll go ahead and just attack. And then we'll Bakai Sand Spinner the trundle. They're just ending the round. I guess I'll end the round as well. As well. Follow the friend yours, true leader. Now I can calling strike that. Oh, this, mm, this might have been a bit of a mistake. I didn't realize I had this Chronomancer in hand. Probably would have safer to play that in case I had Avalanche. Turn it like so. Or something similar. doesn't really kill anything too big. I don't really like any of these draws, to be honest. Maybe it's exhaust so we can push damage. And with that in mind, I, it might be wise of me just to play out the Sand Spinner. Because I definitely want a Leviathan the next turn, so yeah, maybe, maybe I was supposed to do that. I think I'm definitely playing the Leviathan if they tap under Ruination mana. I could have a bunch of other ways to answer it though. Now they could have either Entomb or Vengeance, which would suck. Prepare the cargo! Still probably supposed to play this though. The vengeance. We're going under. The soul wears away like grains of sand. Trolls are going to war! Fear the power you do not see. They're either going to save their trundle or... yeah.
think we start with Rockhopper, regardless of what they do. I mean, they're almost certainly starting with Ice Pillar, right? Oh, maybe not, because they want... They don't care about hooking the Sand Spinner. They want to get my Swain. Indecision is the first of many we Last to not remain buys me a new sail. These old eyes. You can't, can't. Order, sir. Bring forth our army. Too bad that happened before. Yes. Darken the sky. Light the signal fire. Oh, that's nice. Um. Boy, oh boy, though. Do I really want to throw my Leviathan away, potentially? Deal two to an enemy and one to the enemy nexus. Which enemy am I dealing two to? Probably this one. This one's never dying. This one's vulnerable. I could maybe hook it with Legion Grenadier so then my big stuff doesn't get vulnerable. Merely pawns in a greater game. What do you have? Witness yeah, that's why I hooked this anyway, because even if it didn't uh, die, I didn't want him to be able to hook uh, something the following turn probably just gonna play the legion grenadier out one more hit from this and it only costs two That said, we uh, almost certainly just playing it out here. If this was still vulnerable and he like beat it down, then sure, I would let that happen first and then 
Draw two for two maybe means we can play out both of the things that we draw from this. Welcome to the tipsy hour. Hanging in there for sure. Huh. Dark in the sky! I will break them. Remember us. Good win. We'll do at least one more with this. Approaching the two hour mark with this deck. <laughs> Want to play too, too much more with it. You're a two, and even when you level this, this Culling Strike kills you, so I think I'm killing that, uh, keeping that. Exhaust plus Culling Strike kills Renekton. Here again, because they pass back. I think I'm okay with that. Five mana. Why run the bloody path through Sharima? Look what good comes of mortal greed. Pretty sure I just want to trade these off rather than try to do this. I'm not going to play another thing out because I don't want him to be able to play an exhaust and hook this to get a plus attack and then not die to, to this. Play out things that die to my rampaging Bakai or something. It's a Swain, okay. Play out the sand spinner or the swain. I think Glory I play out the swain. They are drawing a lot of cards. 
which is a little annoying, but... Huh. Pride was my end, as it will be yours. So he's pretty. Hmm. Probably wouldn't be surprised to see another quicksand out of them. It's just a question of where it's going. I want her to level. <laughs> so I think we're gonna go ahead and try to Noxian Fervor. Question is, do I do it to swing? They are Bilge Water, so in theory they could be. Why are they in Bilge Water, by the way? There's something I'm missing. Patience is a tactician's greatest. For sure. I guess they had that two three vulnerable unit. Yeah, they have. A, I guess that's what it is. They're, they're, they have a bunch of the Bilge Water vulnerable cards, maybe. I feel like it's a little risky to do this, but... Let's try it out. Victory at any cost. I think I'll just go ahead and spend our mana too. So this blocks the rock bear nicely. This rampaging Bakai gets another Talia if she... and I'll make the Okay, way. right. So if they just play it out, but I forgot that they could do that to give her the fifth. I was not so mercy. I will not grant it. Well, look who decided to join us. Mm -hmm. You are welcome. You are welcome. They don't have great attacks here. Yeah. They do have a lot of cards, so that's kind of scary. We found one of our Leviathans. Perfect. Um, I'd actually pass to start. Because I want to be able to kill Italia or Ren Renekton, and if, if that means having to double up. I, I think the way we lose this game is if... Uh, Success. Get you noticed around here. Either of those things happen. Yeah, we're still just gonna pass. They're losing way more mana than we are.
They could have the plus three, plus one combat trick here. Yeah, sure. gonna risk Swain I don't think because they they could have a series of draws that get that get us um... we'll have plenty of yeah I think this is, this is good enough for me We start with this because they're, they're gonna want to play more blockers at some point and maybe uh yeah probably want the ravenous flock i don't want to meet whatever woke you up Ravenous Flock deals with this Renekton nicely. I could I could push three points of damage with the um, with the Leviathan. I don't want to risk it. I don't think. Patience is a tactician's greatest tool. I want to keep my my stuff as healthy as possible. Ah, pretty it. sure. This my ship. Fire! Be on Noxus. Cool. Good talk. Yeah, I think we'll end it there. If this was a, uh, we're just under two hours. Ooh, we get to open up some goodies at the end of this session. Champion. I think I have one of each of these champions now, other than the ones I crafted. Yeah, I crafted these two. Oh no, I don't have a severe. I have Renny. I have at least one. I might have two of him now. One. I definitely have one of you, one of you, none of you. Why don't we check? Out of curiosity. 
Oop, thought you had to toggle that for some reason. Yeah, two of them. Cool. All right, so that is gonna do it for that deck. Uh, I mean, I'm a big fan of Swain deck, so I enjoyed this deck. Um, I think there's definitely something, t there might be something to this. The question is, what is the correct mix of stuff? Because there's a lot of different ways you can build this. We saw an opponent that was running things like, um, they were running the one mana predict um, landmark, probably instead of these exhausts, we didn't see those out of them, but they were running, and yet they were running culling strikes. Um, they were running some severe as an, a secondary champion to work towards. You know, we were, our earlier build included some copies of, um, of Rite of, uh, Rite of Summoning, Rite of ca Calling, Rite of Calling to find our Swains more consistently, which I don't think we need anymore now that I've played it. My initial thought was, you know, if we have these Swains and we can push damage with them because we have so many ways of dealing, either getting blockers out of the way with our vulnerable, vulnerable effects or making Swain unblockable with attack reducing effects like from exhaust and spirit fire maybe it was worth finding him more consistently but i think because he's not leveling up as quickly uh anyway this is i don't think the right of right of calling i don't think i like copies of right of calling for this deck anymore whispered words felt great let us grind a little bit more against the uh, other mid-range and control decks we were looking to go longer this, as usual, Swain plus Leviathan felt very, very strong against other mid-range decks um, and even gave us some play against the control decks. The control matchups felt a little tougher, but not impossible. You know, we I think we lost once to a Ionia version of Trundle uh, Lissandra, then we beat a... Um, we beat a uh, Shadow Isles version a little bit after um, and probably do a lot better it, even if we don't win we probably look a lot more competitive against the ionia build we lost to if i like understand what's going on in that in that matchup and have a little more experience with it a little more experience with my deck and and in fact was that deck the the that deck might have been the previous version that we were running before this one i i'm not 100 percent certain anymore but rampage bakai i don't know i like effects like this because they let you generate a lot of value right like Five mana, take away one of your threats, develop my board. It always feels great. It's not too hard to get him his slain effect uh, to trigger his play effect, sorry, by slaying four plus units, plus his effect works towards leveling Swain. So I think I like the Bakai in here. Sand Spinner's a solid uh, aggressive threat, plus way to control the board. So I think I like him. I, I think I like a lot of what this deck is doing. I would I'd definitely be interested... Once I get a copy or two of Severe, trying a, a build, a Severe build like we like we saw with a, one of our opponents. Um, what I'd cut in that case, I'm not sure. I mean, we have a lot of twos now with the Aspiring Chronomancer, House Spider, Rock Hopper. Maybe these Legion Grenadiers can go. Um, if, if Fearsome Aggro bec becomes more of a thing again, then we probably just say, you know what, maybe we don't need the draw smoothing from the chronomancer and we can bring back the region uh, region grenadiers sorry legion grenadiers and throw out the chronomancers um so i could see throwing away the two uh legion grenadiers and something else for a severe maybe one spirit fire spirit fire feels good in a lot of spots but it is pretty expensive obviously and even though the effect is very very good and works very very well with swain both when he's leveled and when he's not it's probably just a little bit too expensive it's also possible we could just uh there, well no nah, i was gonna say we could maybe have only two swains since our leviathans are often finding swains anyway and usually we don't care about putting a swain on the table without leviathan as well but uh, with all these effects that let us push damage with him and threaten him more like forcing our opponents to use resources to keep him from striking feels a little bit better two calling strikes fe felt good Combined with our Bakai Sand Spinners and Exhaust to take care of certain things. And on occasion, Spearfire when it's not killing stuff. So yeah, I think that's what I would try. I think the next time I play this deck, uh, I probably just keep playing this version for a while, seeing what I what feels good and what, what I would like to tweak and change, if anything. But I could definitely see trying three copies of Severe over the two Legion Grenadiers and one, one of another card. I'm just not sure what that is yet. Because Severe 
for those who aren't aware. So Severe, just a solid 4-mana four ma four mana play, kind of like our Bakai Sandspinner, just a 4-mana 5-3, uh, but she has Spell Shield and Quick Attack. She could be a reason to, to put back the, um, the uh, Siphoning Strikes now that I think about it because of that. But anyway... Her level mode will take a while in a deck like this since we are like more of a control deck. But when we do get there, having things like having our units, especially a, a leveled Swain or Leviathan, with, given quick attack and spell shield, seems like it could be appealing. And of course, being a 5 3 with quick attack means that we're hitting hard in the mid game, putting pressure on our opponents and making these whispered words potentially draw two for two instead. But again, I think these are a fine card even when we're not hitting this reputation. But. Hitting it every, get, be, having a chance of hitting it every once in a while um, more consistently would feel good for sure. But I don't know. I don't know I'm 100% sold and severe, but definitely would try her. But yeah. Definitely down for playing more Swain decks all the time because Swain is awesome. All right. That is going to do it with that. For, for that deck, we're going to move on to the next. <laughs> 